Jó, Challenger Love Coaching gear, uh, of course this season I did pick 700 RP Grandmaster, and I want to talk a little bit about Kraken Slayer on Olaf. So, by the way, this item can also deal up to 1k damage on this champion, and he actually got a good amount of synergy with Kraken, we can see it deals 1k8, 504 on the first proc, and even the first proc, like what, what the hell can do in the game 504 <laughs> damage, right? As a offensive item, Stridebreaker can't, uh, Trinity Force, of course, can Core Trinker can't, right? So, what I can actually do that much damage? Because you can see this, this only does 334, right? And it will do do a bit more when you stack it up, but it won't match it damage-wise, right? Um, so, why Kraken? Why do I say it's a, such a good solo Q carry item, especially in lower ranks? So, uh, I just uh, reset the game. Say your early level, so let's get some levels. Say like level one, level twelve. Uh, so your first item is usually the Revenant side round top lane, but you can also get in range matchups. Of course, it, your build can be situational. You can get Stride Baker into range champs, uh, but generally speaking, let's say you start out with a Revenant side round, right? <coughs> now that's good. That's great in certain matchups. Now, what do you want to do? The question is, do you go Stride, Gore, Trinity? Jack Show, right? Uh, you can go for an item of your choice, but you can also go Kraken second. Often, ideally, you wanna go Kraken third, actually. So, how does this build function and why do I believe it's great and it's a little bit underrated? Uh, if you wanna have lots of dopamine and you wanna carry a game, I think it's definitely a good item. So, look. Uh, you can also just get simply uh, Tiamat if you want to have Wave Clear, by the way. Like Tiamat, right? You can finish later on Revenants if you feel like, but you can just start out with like this, and you can also choose to get boots of your choice depending on the game, and then get Spear of Sojin or Black Cleaver. Uh, so you're less squishy, of course. So this this actually looks already like way more tank. Um, okay, so let's get straight up to the point, of course. Scoring like your mythic is like heavily situational, you can get Trinity Doom. But let's get to the point. So why do I say Kraken is good? So because you have uh, so much damage on Olaf, right? Like we can see even now it just does so much damage on the last proc of it, right? And even 332 damage, that's quite a lot, because what does 332 damage? Which mythic item does that much? This does 200, Threadbreaker 200, Trinity Force does slightly more, but there isn't much that matches its damage, neither Bork. So, let's get to the point, why is it great? You get a lot of AD from your ult, from Conqueror of course, right? You also heal off a lot of damage with Omnivamp and with Conqueror, while also you got an auto reset from your W, right? Auto resets, this does reset your auto, which I kind of messed up, but let me show you guys again. Your Q penetrates armor, which is good for Kraken, because it will deal a bit more damage due to the armor pen. That's also a synergy, of course. Your passive and W provides a lot of attack speed, which does synergize with Kraken, because the faster you basic attack, the faster you actually get to proc these Kraken. Right? This bring it down passive effect. Um, <coughs> from the other hand, um, it's really all about like what does, what what the hell in the game does this amount of damage as Kraken when it comes to carrying a game? Not much actually. So that's my other comparison when you wanna carry a game and you wanna have have heavy amount of damage. Not much, which I said before, and then the one a bit repetitive. But how do I use it, Gabby? So. For example, let's go top lane, I guess it doesn't matter which lane I am, but let's go ideally top lane, right? So, usually if you can, you don't necessarily have to, but if you can, stack, st get two stacks of Kraken of the minions, then look for a Q all-in, right? And then you can fully force an all-in, because it's really fast actually, like, you, because it's an auto reset and it provides attack speed, you can really easily get your other Kraken proc in no time, which already deals over 507, right? Which is quite insane. Um, and so the good thing about this build is that it's also kind of good if you want to carry in the jungle because you can take like this type of like monster objectives, you know, these big ones like Baron, Rift, all of these drakes. Uh, you can take them down insanely fast, right? And if you have two stacks, you can also choose to turn on the enemy champion and fight them, right? If they show up. So for example, if there are wards around the Oracle or you hit an objective, you can turn on them with your Kraken Pro. Then sort of look for an all-in. 
Uh, from the other hand, Kraken actually does work against uh, the bigger monsters, which allows you to generally clear them way faster, which also helps you a little bit, of course, into like other camps such as Gromp and Blue and all of those. Because there isn't really an item in the game that provides you as much damage into like this type of uh, bigger monsters that have a lot of HP as much as Kraken would. So it actually does greatly improve your clear and uh, your objective control. Um, <coughs> From the other hand, the downsides. So I talked about like so many positives, so many positives, but why does not a soul in this world build it? So it doesn't really provide tank stats, and if you are behind, it's highly unrecommended for you to go for it, okay? So if you are turbo behind, what's gonna happen? You have Kraken, you have a lot of damage, but you get wiped in no time and you don't get to utilize it at its maximum potential. So if you wanna go for Kraken, you're not really allowed to be bad. Because if you go like turbo behind, then you're just gonna be extremely squishy. So that's gonna suck, right? <coughs> From the other hand, ideally if you have teammates such as Zile and other, or other champs that sort of can set you up to all in the enemy champions without them disengaging from your basic attack range, right? Uh, that's also really good to have in the comp, of course. Um, that's it from now. Um, have a nice day guys and of course like if you have any type of like opinions or anything smart to add to this conversation make sure to leave a comment in the comment section we can definitely discuss about things um pretty much that's it for now have a nice day